what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shop 31. We are back at Adriatic Cafe. Uh, our second visit here. This is her birthday meal. She wanted to come here again, so that's what we came. Um, I think we're going to do a couple of different restaurants in the near future, but this is kind of a special occasion, so we chose to come back here again. And I think I'm going to force myself to get something different, even though I don't normally do that, just so I can review a different plate. I am a same food every type of every every visit type of guy. Yes. So I'm gonna make myself get something a little different, but uh, I'll let you know what that is whenever I figure it out. Thank you. Lemon? Lemon's her. Thank you. No lemon for me. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, excellent. Oh, awesome. Tell him I said thank you very much. Thank you. We just like to eat together, I guess, and whatnot, and like, literally, what's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got white. You want to go to the stores? Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Thank I got you lost in my words. <laughs> there you go. You. You're very welcome. Appreciate it, my friend. Absolutely. And then, uh, do you guys need a minute to go to the menu? Uh, a couple questions? more minutes. Yeah, give us a minute. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, <laughs> this is the first time in probably 12 years, maybe 15 years, honestly, maybe longer than that, that I've gone to an Italian restaurant and didn't get the chicken alfredo. Like, the significance of me getting something else is substantial. I think so. it's the first time that we've been together that you have been to a restaurant and not gotten the exact same thing as you did before. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't usually do this, but <laughs> for you, I will, guys. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, trying to mix it up a little bit. There's no point in making a whole other video about the same exact food. Thank you guys for inspiring me to try new things. You guys for that. <laughs> you ever figured out what you want yet? No, I, I, have, I have an idea. Man, the stinking bread is so ridiculously good. Right? And you guys have got to come down and try this bread if you're in Houston. It's, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. Look at my fingers. It's like buttery and oh, it's ridiculous. Super healthy. So, salad showed up. Just like last time, they look excellent. You know what's funny is I was on the live stream earlier for Horror Hangout, and I was talking, and I mentioned that we were going to come here for lunch, and I asked Chris if he wanted to join us. I said, hey, if you got the time, if you guys want to come meet us up here, and because uh, he wasn't feeling good the last few days, so I wasn't sure if he was even feeling up to it. But he said, no, I'm feeling fine, but I'm actually eating leftovers from there right now. <laughs> so, that's awesome. shout out to Chris yes. for telling us about this place to begin with. Um, we were just talking about Wendy's. Does anybody remember when Wendy's had a... We were talking about the fact that when she was going to order a salad, I was kind of shocked. Because, well, A, it's an Italian restaurant. It just surprises me when somebody comes to an Italian place and orders a salad. But uh, the salad wasn't anything in particular about it that was uh, unique to this restaurant. So I was a little surprised. It was birthday and all. And they have really good ranch dressing. That led me to a conversation about Wendy's. And I asked her, do you remember when Wendy's had a, a salad bar? And she looked at me like I was crazy and said, no. They had two kinds of salad bars that I can remember. One didn't last very long. The one that was real quick was called a World Bar. Okay. I don't remember what they called it exactly, but I mean, it was like a it was like a zigzag salad bar, and okay. like each zig was like a different kind of food. Okay. And they had like Tex-Mex, Italian, and, and like salad. It might have just been three little things where it was like Tex-Mex, Italian, like it was like a taco bar, a, sal uh, a pasta bar, and then like a salad bar. It might have okay. just been those three. Very quickly it got changed to just a salad bar. But it didn't last very long because it was, uh, well, Win Wendy's is like a, a fast food joint, so like their, their their whole thing is like go, 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 go. So they were too busy, and I watched, this is on a video that I watched, but I, but I learned why they got rid of it. They got, they got rid of it because uh, the employees were too busy to fool with it, so it got dirty and gross. 
Well, yeah, they, they took it away pretty yeah. quick. That makes sense. Yeah. So, pretty quickly it got you know, done away with. Anybody remember when, dude, do you remember a place down here called Pancho's? I never went there, but I remember seeing the place. Imagine a Bluebies was Mexican. Oh, that sounds awesome. But, think about how much Mexican food doesn't taste as good when you're making it for like a buffet style. Yeah. Like, Bluebies is home cooked. And it's priced like it's home cooked. It's not super, super cheap. But it's really good. Poncho's was like a, it was like made to be, they had a thing called Raise the Flag, where you raise this little flag up, they come by and go, what do you want? And you can tell them. Oh, cool. I don't remember exactly how it was all priced because I was a kid when I went there. Yeah. But I remember every time we went, the only thing that I ate there, the only, and I know you're not going to be at all surprised, I ate taquitos. If they would let me build my own taco, I would make a taco. Okay. And then they had sopapillas that were free. Oh. And they were fresh made all day. Oh, man. Yeah, you could smell them when you walked in. That's amazing. Yeah, they had big little, big old fresh things of honey on the table. Yes. And cinnamon. Mm. I was saying about sopapillas earlier. So good. I've had sopapillas probably five times in my life since Poncho's. <clears throat> Never once have I been able to find one that was, <clears throat> excuse me, even like remotely comparable. Ew. All their food was like mid, except for Zoka Pia. If you ask my mom, she'd probably agree with that. Okay. I think we went because it was affordable. We got a bunch of kids, yeah. mom. Yeah. Free dessert's not a bad deal. Especially if have like plate specials like you used to. Yeah, I think it was like you could get like uh, I, I do remember the plates had they were like metal plates inside of a plastic plate, and the plastic rim was different colored for different things. And so I think like a kid got a certain color, and you could get up to like five things on it. Okay. And an adult, or maybe three even. Yeah. And then an adult could get because because like you could also get beans and rice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was a cool place. The food quality wasn't. Everybody, I was the only one that didn't like it that much. Kelly liked it, Nate liked it, Jerry liked it. I can't remember if my mom liked it very much, but I remember that I was the only one that. Like, I mean, I was always down to go. Yeah. But you weren't super psyched about that. No, I liked the stuff with beers enough to where I was pretty psyched. But I was always going to. I was at exactly the same thing with three taquitos. What? Three taquitos, beans, and rice. See, guys, this is what we're talking about. Always getting the exact same thing every time he goes to a restaurant. Every time. He's been doing it his whole life. My entire life. My mom talks about it. I mean, if I ask you to give me food from somewhere, I'm going to have to tell you what I want. That's true. I go to Jack in the Box for tacos and their sweet and sour sauce. I use Taco Bell ta sauce on Jack in the Box tacos, and I use Jack in the Box sweet and sour sauce on anybody's egg rolls. Because I'm not remotely picky. Not at all. Oh, I'm sure it's very annoying. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. The way I figure it is, I work really hard, and especially if I'm going to pay for my food, like, you know, aside from like, buy fresh food and cook it, if I'm going to pay for somebody to make my food, I tip really well, all the time, and I'm usually very, very, very polite, even when it's messed up. Even if my food is messed up, I'm usually polite about it. Unless it's fast food places, because it's easier to make my food than nothing on it than to put a bunch of crap on it. So I don't understand why you put a bunch of crap on it. But like at a place like this, they mess my food up. It is what it is. Accidents happen. So, uh, but I expect my food to come out the way that I want it. I tip really well. You can ask the people at Alamo. Yes. People, yeah, you ask people where they work with me, they'll tell you. I'm, cer I'm certain that they're excited when they see me sitting there in their row. As an, as an, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to brag about my tipping. I'm just saying that I do tip well. I take care of my service and I'm polite. So I expect my food to be the way I want it. That's what I was getting at. Not bragging about my tips. It doesn't matter. Everybody should tip well. This is a hard job. 
I, I think that's probably, you alright? Yeah. That's probably my biggest pet peeve going somewhere with somebody I'm not real familiar with. Yeah. And then we sit down, and we get like a $35 meal, and it ends up being like 37 bucks, and they leave 40 and I'm like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Like, that's like, and maybe I tip too much, but I'd rather over tip than under tip. Yeah. Under tip sucks, man, because these people have to pay for it. They usually have to tip out their bus, their bus boys. Like, there's a lot that goes into this. I've heard a lot of people that only tipping, like, 10%. Thinking 10% is standard. Yeah. I don't know how anybody would, would think that. The standard's gone up, not down. Yeah. And then, you know, if finding any little reason to not give a tip. Then you gotta be pretty bad for me to not tip. Anything? Yeah. It's gotta be bad. Like bad. Yeah. I feel guilty. Cheese on the oil? That's me. Oh, wow. Thank you. And mint oh, Yes, please. Thank you. Me want to keep the Thank you. Check that out. And so what is it exactly? This is the Alex special. It looks like it's spaghetti with um, bell peppers. And I think it has an Alfredo sauce and a marinara sauce. It's like an Alfredo and a marinara mix, didn't it? Yes. And it's got a garlic and... and chicken. Grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. And I think some onion. Yeah. That yes. looks wonderful. This is what the cheese ravioli came out looking like. This is insane. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I expected. I, was, I didn't expect anything. I expected a surprise, and boy, did I get one. It looks this like shit, a cheese pie. This looks insane. I'm <laughs> really excited to check this out. So I will scoot everything back over, and we'll try our food. Mm -hmm. There is zero chance that I eat all this in, <laughs> I one, know. in one sitting. So, okay. Oh, thank so, you. okay. Yes. Question for you. This looks amazing, so I'm not mm -hmm. complaining. I'm just curious. Is this uh, is it like three big raviolis? Four. It's four. Four and it big just, ones. And so there's a little bit of marinara underneath it, and they're laid on top. A little I mean, bit more marinara, mm -hmm. a little bit of cheese. Yeah, you got it. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'm very excited right now. Thank you. Please enjoy. What did, I remember you guys from last time. What did you have last time? Last time I got uh, chicken alfredo, which is my go-to. That's pretty much all I eat at Italian places. <laughs> and so me getting something different is. It's good. Very rare. I don't do this very often. So I wanted to try something new since we were filming again. I thought, why not make it a, yeah. a different feel this time? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad so. you got to try something new. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are shiny. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, there's chicken in there. Hot? That's hot. Ah, dog, hold on. All right, let's give this a second. Well, yeah, aside from it being extremely hot, the flavor is fantastic. I want to get a little deeper into the cheese that's inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, because that's where you can really start to tell like, this is almost like a lasagna. Mm. Dude. Almost. It's more cheese. Almost, yeah. It's more cheese than a lasagna, which is what I would prefer anyway, so. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay, well, initial thoughts. This is like probably some of the best ravioli I've ever eaten. So, we're going to enjoy our lunch real quick. And we'll be back with you before we wrap up and get out of here. So, yeah, we're going to eat. Yeah. Yeah, barbecue places, I just, they're really, just making barbecue is hard work. Yeah. I know people that do that. And it's expensive. So, like, two plates of food. I know that place that Josh is always talking about. Yeah. Two plates like this would be like 40 bucks. Yeah. Which, you know, if you have the money to do it, you want to do it for a special occasion, whatever. But that's a lot of money. I mean, I've never been able to eat at a barbecue place for less than $20 for just my food. Yeah. And I'm not complaining. It's expensive. It's hard to make. Yeah. I just, since I know that, I have to budget before I go there. I'm not, yeah. we ain't got that kind of money. Yeah. Sure. All my ex-boyfriends would always go to a barbecue joint 
and get a baked potato. That's all he got? That's what you would get. And I think <coughs> there's like a restaurant down in like Pearland, where you're from, that had like a massive baked potato and they put like all sorts of extra Oh, my mom would do that. So they put chopped beef in it? Probably, yes. Okay. Should I get some boxes of food first before I bring this one out? Uh, no, it's okay. We'll go ahead and have that right now. We can put this in the box in a minute. Okay. I'll grab right? this one. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Alright, I'll get you to come back with us. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So, we got the tiramisu again. And it's awesome. I don't even have to tell you. I don't have to try to tell you. I know it is. Stuff is ridiculous. What are you saying? Oh, um, yeah, so they had this massive loaded baked potato, and I remember one time. Oh, did you take out a box? There's like one bag or two. Oh, uh, one's fine. One? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you for your help. Oh. And stuff is ridiculous. So, one time, we went to, uh, like, with the family, my mom and dad. We went to Art's Rib House in Austin. Um, and everybody ordered, you know, half rack of ribs, whatever. And then he got baked potato, and everybody just stopped and looked at it. <laughs> that's pretty weird. I mean, if he, liked, if he got it because he liked it, then that's one thing. But he got it because he was on a budget? No, he got it because he was that's preparing the... it to this other place. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, and like... But yeah, other places don't have loaded baked potatoes like that. So it was just this little bitty one. Have you ever been to uh, Jason's Deli? Um, they're literally famous for their baked potatoes. Okay. Because they're humongous and they're full of a bunch of stuff like that. Nice. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Not my style really, but. No, know. it was McAllister's that we had on campus that I ate there. That was the deli that was there. I got a sneak of suspicion I'm going to more of this than you all this time. This is so good. It's so good. Like, I wouldn't normally get something with like a coffee flavor anywhere near it. Yeah. I like coffee okay, but I'm not like a coffee guy. This yeah. Is freaking yeah. ridiculous. Close your eyes to see. Yeah, it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. I could eat this every day. Now this is the kind of thing that I would go to, like, order at all the restaurants and compare. Oh, Say, okay, yeah. Whose tiramisu is the best? Mm -hmm. Since I don't have any prior experience with this, <clears throat> I have nothing to compare it with. And I like this so much, I feel like everybody else would be at a disadvantage. Quite possibly. Because I don't really know what else to... I mean, if it came out looking a little different, I would, be, I would already be on my, you know, okay. de defensive. Yeah. Mm. It's just really light. I know. And it's not super sweet. I almost would like to, start to try it without the chocolate. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not a chocolate guy. This, I mean, it's good with the chocolate, but I like foods that are... How do I say this? It's perfect layers. It really does have perfect layers. That might be... You got it? That might be my favorite dessert right now. My favorite dessert of all time is the pie that my mom makes. Nobody else makes it. I can't find anybody else to make one even similar. It's a lemon cream cheese pie. And I think you have the, the, the recipe. Did you give me the recipe? You know I'll go get all the stuff and I'll try to make it soon. You know what's messed up? Huh. I literally had a dream where she passed away and nobody knew how to make that pie. Oh my goodness. And I panicked because nobody knew how to make it. I was like, I miss my mom in that pie. <laughs> That's amazing. Dude, if something happened to her and there was no way for me to get that pie, after mourning her loss, losing my mom, mm -hmm. and the realization that that was also yeah. gone, yeah. I would fall right back in the morning. And you'd be like, why has he been crying for seven days? Well, it's the first six because his mom passed. But like, you woke up this morning and realized that this pie that she makes is gone. You're like, over a pie? Yeah, he really likes it. Would it be enough to tempt you into some like commuting with the dead type thing? No. 
I'm not, I'm not with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a Ouija board away from me. I'm gonna pay the bill and we're gonna get up out of here. But thanks for hanging out with us. This place is amazing. If you're down here in Houston, apparently this is a chain, by the way. Oh, really? I didn't know that. There's okay. like at least a few of them in Houston. Nice. So if you have one of these around where you're at, check it out. If you're down here in the south, you're in Houston, or whatever, come check this place out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's absolutely amazing food. And uh, the reason the value came up again is because they do have great prices. They're rich plates. Mm -hmm. These are 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. This is like a dinner portion, man. It's a lot of food. So. Yeah. Um, if you're looking for value as well as quality, this is a really good place to go. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I would consider this place like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. The, the staff is really great. Mm -hmm. The bread's really great. The, all the sauces I've had here are great. The ranch dressing is really good. You know what? The water tastes good because a lot of places I go, well, I know that sounds funny, but yeah, it I mean, sounds funny, but you're right. It, it, a lot of places I go, you can tell it's sink water. Yeah. This is at least some kind of filtered water. I yeah. don't know. It's probably through a tap. Right, but it's, it's, it's filtered. This is not sink water. And I, I, I like to, to try that stuff out because kind of as a general rule, I don't mm -hmm. drink anything but water at restaurants now. Mm -hmm. like the last two years I've been doing this. Yeah. Really hard like the last year, but like the last couple of years. And it's not... It, it's a double, two two reasons why. One, I'm trying to drink less soda. I don't really, prices have gone up, man. Three bucks for soda, I'm gonna get one refill, maybe, maybe? Yeah. I'm not paying three dollars for that, I just have some water. Yeah. Better for me, and it doesn't cost anything. Yeah. I can throw more on the tip, or I can get a dessert, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, uh, Adriatic's Cafe might be our favorite place to eat right now. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anywhere I've ever come to than this for this, especially for this price. Like if I'm gonna pay like thirty bucks for us to eat. Yeah. Yeah. No. Unless I'm just in the mood for pizza. Right. If that's the case, okay. Thank you. But uh, otherwise, no. I think it's this place.